I'm currently at Coventry Arena train station and look at this, look, that behind me is Coventry City's ground, literally adjoining the train line, I mean, how convenient is that? <laughs> this is by far the closest train station to a ground I've been to so far, I don't think you can get any closer than that, but yeah, so I mean that is proper convenient, I'm quite impressed with that, but yeah, nice and easy to get to, big thumbs up to Coventry City for that. Hello Groundhoppers and welcome to Matt the Groundhopper channel. This is ground stadium number 28 of 160. Check out my list, that's on the screen now for all the other grounds I've been to, including South End, Gillingham, Crawley, Queen of the South, Kilmarnock, Air United, etc, etc. But this is my first time here to Coventry, as a town or a city, and my first time to the ground. We're at the Coventry Building Society Arena. There we go. Ooh, look at that, nice. Nice from the outside. Um, it used to be called the Rico Arena, but I've recently changed the name. But um, yeah, we'll have a little sort of walk around the outside, see if I can find a club shop. But first impressions are nice, big. Um, holds about just over 30,000. In the current form table, the last six games, Coventry second, just behind Middlesbrough. I mean, at the beginning of the season, they were bottom of the league, weren't they? For the first sort of, 10 games, and they had loads of games in hand, but obviously it had been an amazing run, really pushing themselves up the league, just outside the playoffs. So they had Hunter Hull City, mid table themselves. But... There he is, Jimmy Hill, former manager and chairman of Coventry, and also a pundit on match of the day back in the day, a good pundit as well, but there we go, that's his statue, Jimmy Hill. So I'm just walking past the arena now, this is the arena which is sort of attached to the side of the stadium. The Coventry have been playing at this stadium now since about 2005 when they left Highfield Road. Um, bit of a, an uneasy relationship with this stadium, so that is you own it, the tenants. I think they're signed up to the end of this season um, regarding their tenancy. So whether they'll be playing here next season, I don't know. Hopefully they do. But um, they left half a road, as I say, sort of nearly 20 years ago, which I think they did own. And I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but half a road was the first all-seater stadium. Is that correct? I think I read that years ago. I think under Jimmy Hill's chairmanship at the time of the ground. But it's such a shame that um, Coventry don't actually own their own ground. I think it's a little bit of a travesty, really. It's a huge club and a huge city. So whether that will ever be rectified, I don't know. But it just seems sad, really, that they don't own their own ground. Are they looking to get a new ground? I don't know. But they might be signing, signing a long-term tenancy from next season onwards. That's what I've read today. Owned by the Fraser Group. I think it is a stadium now. So yeah, but if they was to move out, where would they move to? Because they would have ground shared with Birmingham and Northampton Town in the past. But... Would they ever build their own ground in Coventry? Is there any land for it? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to know what fans would say. But as you can see there, that's where um, the old Wasps sign. Because Wasps Rugby Union Club used to play here, but there was went to administration and liquidation. So they've now finished as a club, reformed. But um, yeah, they no longer play here. I think they're going to move to Solihull Moors. But there we go. That's our old sign. Try to then fold in 2022.
Ireland, so make a bit of noise as well. So it's about 20 minutes gone, still 0-0, but it's not the start. There's some um, both ends, both teams have had equal amount of chances. But noisy crowd, noisy home crowd, and um, impressed with the first maybe 20 minutes of this stadium and the crowd, but hopefully hoping for a home goal. Fingers crossed, but still nil nil. They didn't go in, it was so close, but these fans are ready to explode, they're dying for a goal, but still nil and nil, but that was the best chance so far. Oh, that was close. Over the bar. It's going to be nil nil at the end of half, but it's... Um, Country being closer than Hull, but it's frustrating. It's already been a, quite a frustrating half, but yeah, but it is still nil nil going into half time. Do you know, I've just come out from the concourse, and that is one of the best concourses, food and drink, I've been out at the ground. You know, I don't know if I'm contrary to the club have any input boys down to the owners of the stadium but there's so much choice of food and drink biggest choice I've seen actually for any for any ground I've been to so, to date so yeah so it's, yeah quite impressed with that actually um lots of choice food and drink prices just seemed okay as well yeah very good Um, and they're shooting this in to second half, so right if they score this in, we really want to see this crowd react, but um, still nil nil. Oh, that's it. Get a winner, but still one one. 
It's a whole just score, but it's just been disallowed. Um, <laughs> but you see the fans are up to and just go silent. But yeah, still 1-1, one, one, but a disallowed goal for whole city. score from that but it's still 1-1 one, one in the 90th minute now as I speak but um, yeah frustrating afternoon um, it's probably going to finish 1-1 one, one, but yeah Coventry have had a few chances but yes you can tell the fans are frustrated they're trying to chase down the playoffs but yeah four minutes injury time to play but still 1-1 one, one. So just finished outside the ground now, but what a second half that was! I'm absolutely exhausted, like you know, it's proper end to end. The second half is much more enjoyable than the first half. End to end, really good atmosphere. Second half because it was shooting this end towards me, but frustrating, frustrating afternoon. I really wanted to come through the winter day, but it didn't happen. It's one one, but. I looked at some of the stats and um, Coventry got relegated out of the Premier League in 2001. So they've been out of the league, top league for 20, like two years, which I find it quite incredible because when I was growing up as a kid, Coventry was in the top flight. But it just shows you when they drop out of that top league, they, you know, they stay out for a long time. And um, the whole generation of fans have missed out. But anyway, so good game, good end to the game. As I say, disappointing, lots of one. But um, enjoy my day here, Coventry. See you on my way to the train station now. If you um, enjoyed the video, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Really appreciate the subscriptions and the comments as well. I try and reply to all the comments. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you at my next ground hopping ground. Bye for now.